Two giant investment firms control almost everything you buy, and here's why you should care. I did a video, I've done a couple videos on BlackRock and Vanguard and how they've, uh, they're becoming uh, behemoths in the investment industry. Um, and it's just bad because BlackRock is just, I tell you, man, they're up to no good. And you would think Vanguard would, uh, because it's owned by shareholders, but who are the shareholders, if that makes sense? I mean, I own Vanguard, but look, man, we don't have the money. It's an elite group of people. And I, look, I love Jack Bogle, RIP, my man. And uh, he, he did great for the regular investors, but that Vanguard is, I mean, the, the facts are the facts. Vanguard is owned by an elite group of people who own BlackRock, and they're all up to no good. I, look, I've done this before in Vanguard. You know, the diversity, the green crap, all that stuff. BlackRock is blatantly, blatantly fascistic. There's no other way around that. In fact, even uh, Larry Fink from BlackRock said, uh, investment companies love totalitarian governments. He said it. I didn't say it. He literally said that on CNBC. All right, so let's dive into this. Why well, can't I get one second? From uh, Children's Health Defense, uh, RFK Jr.'s uh, website that he's uh, actively in involved with, which I, I absolutely love. And you should sign up. For, it's like 10 bucks a year to become a member, and you should. And this is from Dr. Joseph Mercola. Oh, no, not Mercola. Well, let's just dive into this. It's funny how people are like, yeah, conspiracy. <laughs> If you just because you're paranoid doesn't mean they're not out to get you, my friends. And if you can't see that by now, I don't know what to tell you, man. I mean, my goodness, the West is the best. We got to worry about the Taliban or the CPC. Look at what the hell is happening in Australia and New Zealand and Canada. Oh, even good old US of A, too. If you can't see it by now, I got nothing for you. All right. BlackRock and Vanguard hold large interests in pivotal companies. And Vanguard holds a large share of da -da 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 -da, BlackRock. BlackRock, the only private firm that has financial agreements to lend money to the central banking system, has been called the fourth branch of government. All right, so I want to show you something. There's a video here, Who Owns the World? And you can, I'll put a link in the show notes. Until recently, it appeared that economic competition has been driving the rise and fall of small and large companies in the U.S. Supposedly, Pepsi's Coke's competitor and Apple and App Android are vying for your lo loyalty. Pfizer and Bayer are battling for your pharma, do pharma dollars. But what is revealed in this video using publicly data, available data, what you can check is that it's all been an illusion. On the surface, it appears that the same has always been. But the growth of a few corporations since the 1970s has all but destroyed the competitive market on which America's strength has rested. As demonstrated, a quick look through Yahoo Finance showed that BlackRock and Vanguard have been the puppet masters behind nearly every large industry that affects your life. And you can quickly discern the global economy may be the greatest illusory trick ever pulled on the eyes of people around the world. Without doubt, we're in a new place and facing new challenges. It will take accurate information and local action to continue to have the right to control your health. All right. So let's see. Uh, in theory, the competition drives innovation, advancement, and price structures that benefit the consumer. However, when one, two, or three large companies own most of what you use, competition is an illusion, resulting in a monopoly where companies can set a price and are no other products from which to choose. A barrier to entry. Man, it's shocking. Uh, as the World Economic Forum and the United Nations collaborate to build back better, it's critical to pay attention to how large corporations across the world contribute to a societal shift that moves money into the hands of billionaires and create a new depth of poverty for the rest of the world. One of the mandates of the FTC is to ensure that there's competition in the marketplace. For example, in 2000, a federal judge ruled that Microsoft had maintained a monopoly with Windows and tied the company's browser, Internet Explorer, to the operating system, thus gained an even greater economic foothold. The company barely escaped being split until it agreed with a settlement to curb its practices. More than 20 years later, the DOJ is now looking at antitrust allegations against Google, which have hurt smaller competitors. Well, at 100%, Google and YouTube, I mean, I love YouTube, but Google owns YouTube, and they're the one and two largest search engines in the world by far. Nothing comes close. And we know for a fact how they can manipulate there's search data. I'm telling you, just to, you can look that we've done this a thousand times on this video where you just type in something on Google 
Uh, JD Vance campaign, you type that in Google and you get all this left wing stuff. And then you type it on Bing and type it on DuckDuckGo to get the JD Vance campaign's website, not on Google. And yet Google is supposed to be the best algorithm. And it is by far and away the best algorithm for non-political stuff. However, when this algorithm is geared towards political stuff, they have to challenge if the other stuff is going to give you what you need to know. I, 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 I highly suspect it's not. If they're driving 95 percent of the market share, they're, they're feeding the masses with bad information. I mean, it's just it's a competition. It's a monopoly. I mean, it's without question. All right. Why do I have such a hard time pushing this thing? It's the weirdest thing. All right. Come on. One sec. So as you go through the list of which companies, which Vanguard and BlackRock strategically hold a large investment interest, you consider how the products and services provided by these companies are inextricably linked to your daily life. Google, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Amazon, Alibaba, Pfizer, Bear, AstraZeneca, Pepsi, Coca-Cola, Microsoft, Netflix, Reuters, Viacom, AT&T, Tesla, New York Times, AB Agriculture, Bank of China, China, FedEx, American Airlines, UA. L, I don't know what T-U-A-I-G-A-G is, Zimmer Biomet Holdings, Volkswagen Ford. You may recognize many of these names and some not. You can do your own search, type in the company, click on holdings in the navigation bar. The company spans a variety of daily life, including social media, shopping, food manufacturers, entertainment, airlines, world media. Interesting. However, as comments on my Twitter feed indicate, it's not always apparent why this information is to your rights as an individual. It may be difficult to imagine a world where your news is being manipulated as illuminated by a video. Uh, Vanguard and BlackRock own the news that's been created. They own the distribution of the news that's been created. They own the lives of the reporters that are reporting the news that's been distributed that's been created on your TV screen. It doesn't matter what you are watching. They're all using that wonderful phase from Davos, Build Back Better. The point being is that you've got very few people controlling everything, and that's information. Talk about information as power. Well, not only when they create the information, but they have all the distribution notes to literally change the world mindset, as it were. I'll let you read the other part of this. It's a, it's a scary proposition. I actually think about this a lot. Like, do you, uh, I, I think about it a lot because the, the uh, we're, we're in a bad place when it comes to the competition, the fascist movement that's happening without question. This is fascism. And uh, you just wonder, hey, how long it's going to last and how much you want to participate. And I, I, I think about this a lot. I'm like, man, do I really want to be involved in this? But then, you know, the facts are you're making money. You're like, oh, am I a brave new world where they give me Soma, Sama, whatever it's called? And I'm just like, yeah, I'll just go on for the ride. It's scary out there. But I don't have any answer. I don't have any answer. I just know the first thing that you got to do is you got to get out of debt. You cannot be beholden to the debt uh, slaves, or debt slaveholders. You can't. And look, I still got debt. But once you're out of debt, it's going to change. It will it'll radically reduce your need for a lot of this stuff. Um, I'm not there. And uh, I, I hope you are. I hope If you are there, man, God bless. If you're not, join me in our crusade to get out of debt. That's what we got to do first and foremost. All right, we'll see you.